our first story today, it's a little bit of a flashback to the 80s. So Rob Lowe, you remember him? Yeah? Well, he admit, oh, remember when he looked like this? Uh, he admitted to Kelly Ripa on her podcast that he and Demi Moore briefly had a thing during their time when they were back in the Brad Pack in the 80s. We're talking St. Elmo's Fire era. The two have stayed friends, and he even said to Kelly he attended uh, Demi's wedding when she got married to Bruce Willis. <laughs> If you've slept with someone, should you be going to one another's weddings, though? Yes. Yes. Very evolved. Very liberal. Yes, Riley, as the newest married person on the panel. <laughs> How many exes yes. did you have at your wedding? <laughs> well, okay, so we didn't have any. I had to think about it, but it, we had a very small, intimate wedding, so it would have been wild <laughs> if, like, <laughs> it's my mom, my nana, and my ex. Like, that would be wild. Um, I do think, though, that you could, I think there's a window of acceptability of it, mm -hmm. but there are a lot of, I think, boundaries around it that would be weird. Like, mm -hmm. did you sleep with them one time and then that was your interaction? Weird to invite that person. Is it the person <laughs> that, like, you know? Is it the person that you had a long-term, extended, complicated relationship with that maybe, like, is not fully worked out between you and your partner mm -hmm. and this person? Also weird, you know? But so there's an in-between, though, and especially in a community like this, I get the feeling, like, celebs only sleep with each other. So, <laughs> yes. yeah. I mean, you know, you've got to stay friends if you're working in that industry. It's it's what's happening. Yeah, this is yeah. true. true. This is true. What do you it think? True. Well, I mean, you guys all know. I, I know. We're looking at Cynthia. <laughs> like, Cynthia is the queen of this. So I can't wait to hear her story. Well, well I mean, I, there was at least one person at my wedding that I had slept with. And the thing is, is that, like, I, I knew that. <laughs> and then, but Jason knew it, too. Oh, like, oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, my God. Yeah, no, but I don't think that anyone else did. Like, it wasn't like we were, it was that in-between Goldilocks thing. Mm. It wasn't a one-time hookup, and it wasn't a very serious relationship. It was something that we were friends for longer than we were being intimate partners. So uh, that, that person, I went to their wedding as well, his wedding with his wife. So Do you I, think she knew about you two? Yeah, of course. Oh, it's well. all like out in the I open. love how you say, of course. Of course. <laughs> and nobody cares. Like, it was right. not, it's not an issue. But I can see how this could be an elephant in the room. And I think that's the, the meter that you need to judge mm. You know what? You know what that reminds me? Focus, right? It does remind me of an elephant in the room. This story right away, <laughs> it brought me back to a certain royal wedding. Do you remember when Prince Harry and Meghan got married? And we're watching, I was watching the live footage, and then in comes someone that I went, is that Harry's ex, Chelsea Davy? Do you remember? And she walked in and I just went, whoa, what is, who approved this? Well, they did. They well, did. They, no, did. Yeah, they did, obviously they did, but it wasn't as clear as what you thought. There's Chelsea. And I'm, that's maybe her, her person now, I'm not sure. But I said, I read Harry's memoir, and this is what he wrote in his memoir about Chelsea being at his own wedding. G guys, it's so good, okay? <laughs> she and I weren't in regular touch, which is why Willie, William, we presume William, checked in with me before inviting her to the wedding. Oh, Willie? He didn't want um, either of us to feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Harry wrote saying that seeing her was hard, he explained. There were loads of feelings still there, feelings I'd suppressed, feelings I hadn't suspected. I also felt a certain way about the hungry looking men trailing after her, circling her, oh. nagging her to dance. Jealousy got the better of me that night and I told her so, which made me feel worse. And that's, that's a bit pathetic. He's talking about his wedding night? So as I'm reading this, I'm realizing this was from his memoir, but wait, was that William's wedding or was that his wedding? I need to fact check myself right now. In William's wedding. But my point is, so too. but William, it, let's say it was William's wedding because yeah. it, it sounds like it might be. Yeah. That relationship, to your point, that was a long, long, deep relationship. He almost got engaged to her. So the question is, maybe some of that has faded maybe by the time he gets married, but why is she still there? Because it's I a don't friend, know. You know, because it's a friendship, and I think it depends on the bride and the groom. Because, you mm. know, if you're a mature adult and you're just like, this person has become my friend, I don't think it's a huge issue, but you do have to check in with your partner, because I have actually have a very good friend where when we met, we were friends and we dated for a little bit, and then we realized that we're better friends, and we've known each other for a very very long time. And when he met his fiance, he was super excited. He was like, you're coming to my wedding. It's going to be so good. And I was like, yeah. And then I met his fiance and I knew by the look in her face that I was not getting an invitation. Yeah. <laughs> because she wasn't feeling me. And I understood because we had an energy and a history that didn't make her feel comfortable. And it's her day. And if she doesn't need, she didn't need me there. Yeah. And if she didn't want me there, I understood. Now, if she had befriended me, I would have told her, this isn't going to work because I ended up getting divorced. Oh. But I could have told her. <laughs> 
time because I know him, know him. No. Should have posed it up next to me, girl. Could have saved you a lot of time. But what else? Hey, you, come a bit closer. We've got so many more musty interviews, spicy debates, lifestyle tips, and pop culture moments. So subscribe to our channel by tapping the logo below and don't miss out.